Welcome to Land of House. I'm Seth. For the past three months, I have been using the Big Battery Rhino 2, which is this big battery down here, and the Lux Power 6K inverter, which is this box up here. It has worked flawlessly off grid for the past three months. I even had my grid power go down for three different times while I was out here in my shop working, and I didn't even know it because this system was keeping me uh, up and running. So. I couldn't be more happy with it. I wanted to uh, just give you an update here and talk to you about how the system has performed after three months. So let's go ahead and jump into it. For a quick overview of my install, I have the Big Battery Rhino 2 down here. This battery weighs about 300 pounds and uh, I slid it in here, put it upright, got it connected and it has worked flawlessly ever since I got it installed. So over here you can see it has a nice clean grate. It's got the all metal finish here on the front. I've got one of the grates open over here and it's got a display which I'll have to show you in a different clip because it's a bit difficult to get back there. The installation of the battery could not have been more simple. The cables are all easy to connect. The Ethernet cable that connects for the communications was also quite simple and uh, it just worked out well. Now the battery is currently preset for working with the Lux power, but you can uh, adjust the communication to uh, work with different inverters. Now the box you see on top here is actually designed to go with the 18K inverter and that's what all of these holes or knockouts are for. But I managed to get this to work here with just using a couple of these um, nipples and going up into the inverter. Now I'll show you a little clip here of what the inside of this Lux Power 6K inverter looks like. But the wiring was also quite simple, connecting the battery up. Um, now I opted to use both cables, even though the 6K inverter would have been just fine using only one of the battery cables. Now my conduit over here goes up and around to a transfer switch and that's what gets me from being on grid to off grid. So you can see currently all of these are set to gen which means everything is running from the Lux Power here. Now the Lux Power 6K is a totally off grid system and it has been working without fault since I turned it on three months ago. Now typically, I don't run anything more than about 3,000 watts through here. It is a 240 system, which means I have can basically run up to 6,000 watts or 3,000 per leg. It's gotten a little bit dusty over here. I may have to uh, clean that up. Now the only downside that I have about this inverter is that it's got one of the fans running all the time. It has three cooling fans on it over here. Uh, there's one two and three this one always runs no matter what whenever there's a lot of solar or a high output these two will kick on and it can get a little bit loud but honestly it's not too bad let me um turn the mic around so you can hear the sound of that one fan Now the Lux Power Inverter has an app that you can install and it will allow you to monitor and change settings on the inverter. I noticed that just today I hit 250 kilowatt hours of use. So let's go ahead and load that up and I'll show you the data here on the screen. So uh, just uh, today I have pulled in 2.2 kilowatt hours of solar by one o'clock. Total yield 250 kilowatt hours in three months. It's quite a lot. Um, today's discharge, 0.4 kilowatt hours, and uh, total discharge from the battery is 51.6 kilowatt hours. So I have, uh, of course, had the battery charged during the day when the solar is here, and then oftentimes my work is late. So between 9 and 2 a.m. are my usual work hours here in the shop. So I use a lot of the power from the battery at night. Today's consumption is half of a kilowatt hour. You can see down here that the solar is currently bringing in 309 watts, and I've got enough lights on here that I've got 224 watts being consumed, but the battery is at 100%. Now you can go through and see various charts that will show 
the, um, the use. So if I go to the year worth here, you can see where I have um, used the most power and how that breaks down. You can make changes to the inverter on the app, and I find that to be a lot easier because the uh, display here is not the most intuitive. You have to really know your codes and open up the book to see what a lot of things are in here. Um, but all the information is just the same as what you see on the app. One of the biggest tools I use out here is this 12 inch chop saw and it will start up with about 2200 watts and sometimes the inverter doesn't like that but the, just one second after it's on the inverter is fine. So let me go ahead and run that saw real quick and you'll see uh, the inverter run that just fine. It's hard to see how much power is being used on the inverter screen, so I've got the app open and we'll see if that shows us an accurate amount of power that's being consumed by the saw whenever it first kicks on here. Besides the sound of that one fan running all the time, I really have no complaints on this system. It has truly worked flawlessly. Uh, on a typical day, I run that chop saw. I've got about 100 watts worth of lights. I keep a TV going, a fan going, and sometimes even an air conditioner here in my shop. And this system right here runs all of that no problem. Like I said, that chop saw, when it initially kicks on, pulls about 2200 watts. And the lights do have a quick flicker, which I feel like is not uncommon for using an inverter system like this where it has to uh, provide that quick uh, startup amps for that chop saw. Everything else though here seems to have no effect on the inverter's functionality. Um, it's just that one saw that has that uh, high amperage pull. So uh, this system is available at Big Battery. I will have links to that website down below. They provided both the battery and the inverter for all of the testing here and I am very thankful for that. Now this unit right here is capable of handling uh, enough solar to charge this battery. Right now I've got uh, two kilowatts coming to it and it's one o'clock now but this thing was charged up from my work last night before 11 o'clock for sure. So I uh, definitely want to uh, plug this company because they have been very helpful in getting my workshop off grid and I think if you want to go with an off-grid system for either your house or even a shop like this, then the Rhino 2 and the Lux Power Inverter are definitely good options. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Land a House, and I will see you in the next video.